Hey, what's up everybody? Chris Souders, Slender Cat Outdoors back with you again this morning. And today is another how-to cast net style. But today, we're bringing out the big boy. In the last video, I showed you guys how to throw a six foot ultra spreader. So if you haven't checked that out, make sure you go back and get you an idea of how to throw a six foot cast net. But in this one, we're going with a 10 foot, one pound per radius foot, one inch mesh net. This is gonna be a net for your bigger gizzard chad, your mullet, uh, deeper water, herring, things like that. Now, once again, I'm right-handed. So if you're left-handed, just mimic all these motions in your left hand and you'll be just fine. I'm gonna make small clockwise coils into my right hand. I'm gonna come down and I wanna leave about a foot of lead line and this is a 26 inch foot lead line. And I'm going to grab the horn of the net and I'm going to start stretching it out, okay? You want to stand it up, kind of go through everything. This is a lot of lead, a lot of weight, a big heavy net. And you want to make sure nothing's tangled, nothing's going to hinder you from opening it up, okay? So, now once you grab the horn, this net, for me, I gotta grab it twice. And what I mean by that is I'm, just like my coils, I'm going to wrap, wrap it twice, okay? And everything else is gonna be right at your waist. Uh, remember, everything, all your power is gonna come off of your waist whenever you go to throw the net. Now, to finish loading this net, we're gonna pick it up we're going to fan about a third of this net up. Okay? And where you grab it should be about halfway between the lead line and the rest of the net you have in your hand. And that's just going to lay up and over top of everything else. You're going to come down. You're going to grab that lead line one more time. And that's going to go under your thumb and over top of everything else. And then you would grab it one more time and this is where you would hold on to to kind of help that net pop open and the net will actually pull this out of your fingers as long as you're not holding on to it to, holding on to it too tight now before i throw that net i want to kind of go through the motion with you uh, remember the way that we're loading this net we don't we're not trying to spin the net open uh, we want to do a nice fluid motion uh, where this is a bigger net we're going to have to put some up into it and we want to throw the net up and out so that that net has time to come up and pop open like it should and fall nice and even onto the water surface and our hips should be pointed or in line not pointed but in line with the target that we want to try to catch whether it be an area or a school of bait whatever that might be so let's go through the loading motion one more time here. Small coils in our right hand. And once again, this is a GS1000. <clears throat> Grab the horn, pull it up, and lay it over top of it. And that's gonna be about a, a foot, a little over a foot. Stretch the net out good, and then come down to your waist, okay? And remember, everything should come off of your waist. That's gonna help give you power, and just help everything be fluid and smooth and even every time. The more consistent you are with loading a net, the better, more consistent results you'll get. And we're gonna fan about a third of the net up, and lay it up and over top. And then whenever you grab your lead line, come straight down and straight up. And that'll lay underneath of your thumb and over top of everything else, okay? And that right there basically has your net open. Come straight down the lead line again and grab your lead line. And remember, when you throw, 
You're not throwing, you're not trying to spin it. You want a nice fluid action out and up, okay? Let's give it a shot and see what happens. And just like that, you net will pop open super smooth. Now, one thing to always keep in mind as your net sinks, you want to keep in contact with your lead line. So go ahead and start wrapping nice coils up. And then as you pull your net in, everything is already starting the loading process back up. catch nothing you're ready to load right back up and throw again I want to thank everybody for watching if you get a chance check out Phytex lineup of GS 1000 nets if you have any questions leave them in the comments until next time take care and we'll catch you on the water